What's going on, everybody? How we doing? <laughs> all right, hell yeah. Most of you clapped while I got up here, and then I said hello, and you're like, all right, half of us now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. This is fantastic. Do you guys all know what this show is? Yeah. All right, yeah, it's Comedians on Edibles doing crowd work. It's an extremely unique and creative name. <laughs> it is what it is, and uh, I gotta be honest, you guys better be nice. <laughs> I'm at a very sensitive level right now. I took the edibles. They're apparently a fast-acting batch. Because my heart is a fluttering. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I'm going to go ahead and say, don't do what you just did. And pull back with your reaction. But this is good. We have, uh, I'm hosting this one. Last time, we, uh, I did it all by myself. I took uh, 150 milligrams and came up here. <laughs> yeah, you know. And some people called me a pussy for that amount. <laughs> I was like, all right, dude, well, you know, I thought that was pretty manly of me. <laughs> I took it and felt like I was genuinely sliding off the face of the earth. <laughs> but hey, it's good, to, it's good to be back. This time I've taken a, a, bit of, a bit above that. I'm at about 175 right now. Thank you. Thank you for your warmth and support. Everyone else, I'm gonna need you to fucking clap as well. This is great fucking diversity right in the front row. <laughs> Do you guys know who I am? Let's tell the industry. You don't, you piece of shit. I could have used. That would have been great if you're like, yeah, man, huge fans. I'd be like, right, industry? <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys do? We're all engineers. I fucking was got. <laughs> See, it pays to be racist sometimes, you know what I mean? Or at least to prejudge. Because I was going to be like, what'd you guys just get off from fucking getting fired at Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're paying attention to current events. This is good stuff. Are you with them as well? Okay, that was racist on my part. Then. I apologize. That was that was me jumping to conclusions. Yeah. What a what a what a handsome couple. Are, are you guys dating? Yeah. Married. Oh, okay. I wish you guys could have seen her face because it was a determined no. I'm like, married? No. How long has it been? Uh, fourth day, third day. Oh, fourth day, third day. <laughs> That's completely fair then, yeah. I thought it had been a while and you decided absolutely not. I'm just gonna stick around for a few more free meals. Yeah. Hit my punch card, get a free Sammy, and then be on my way. You're a foodie. Oh, that's, that's the worst. But, um... <laughs> Do you think there's any kid in Somalia right now? It's like, I'm a foodie. I love tree bark tartare with a side of rock cilantro. <laughs> Thank you, that was the correct response to that. I appreciate, I appreciate your, your vibe, dude. I like it because your, your face is Mario Brothers, but your hair is the mushroom that it jumps on. Pretty fun stuff. All right, we're, we're making our rounds. This is okay. <laughs> What's up, dude? How you doing? You were at the last one. Yes. Yeah, I think we set the bar too high. Yes. <laughs> this, this one might not be as coherent, but I'll be up and down all night, so you will see my eyes get progressively lower <laughs> as this evening unfolds. We have some smokables, some edibles, none of which I can pass out to any of you. I know, I apologize, but there's, you know, a little bit called business insurance. <laughs> This is cool. And where are you guys coming in from, bud? Queens, no shit, yeah. What do you, what do, you do, buddy? You what? You lend money? You know we're filming this right now, right? <laughs> You're like, I lend money and then I lean on them for a while. I charge a pretty rigorous vig. And if they're unable to meet my demands, they will be physically injured. That's exciting. Do you, is it like in a, uh, in a bank? No. <laughs> Trying to give you as many outs as possible here, dude. <laughs> so you're like, no, no, street level. <laughs> it is all cash. <laughs> and uh, I have not been stopped yet. <laughs> is, that, is that how you met him? Did you have some buckaroos on the ponies? <laughs> how did you guys meet? Family. family. You are family? Or? <laughs> You just met in Olive Garden. 
<laughs> like when you're here with family, you know? <laughs> All right, well, I'm sure we'll circle back to whatever it is. <laughs> that is, that's an incredible thing. And how'd you guys meet? I mean, four dates deep. Uh, Tinder. Tinder. Oh, okay, nice. People are still on that. <laughs> that's pretty fun. <laughs> we got some moves. <laughs> Is that, because uh, it went out of fashion for a little while, right? They wanted the female empowerment of Bumble, or is that Hinge where the lady speaks up first? Bumble, yeah, and then everybody simultaneously realized women don't have anything to say. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I really alienated a lot of the crowd. <laughs> Pretty early on for no real reason. That was hilarious, we had a great rapport, I said that, you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> What was it? Who spoke first? You did. What'd you say? Nothing special? That's what's great about it. He opened it up. No. Yeah, people come at you with that aggressive shit? Hey, sexy? Has any dude ever done that? This guy just goes... You're goddamn right. It works for some people, right? It depends on your face and body. That's why it's the same as catcalling. Catcalling is offensive if you're unattractive. <laughs> is it? No? Have you ever been... If you got catcalled by Brad Pitt, do you think you'd be pissed off? Brad Pitt's not your type? Who's your type? Kumail Nanjiani? <laughs> I'm fucking crushing right now. I mean, not, maybe not for this crowd in here, but for the crowd in my heart and brain. We're having a gay old time. That, who'd you say? Who is the? Uh, Jason, Momoa. Jason Momoa. Yeah. Okay. So you like tall, dark, handsome, beard. Do you have abs? You have the. Yeah. Co <laughs> <laughs> You're okay with it, dude. You said that like with the empowerment of Lena Dunham confidence. <laughs> You're like, and I'm fine with that. I'm perfectly fine. I find my body quite lovable <laughs> and cuddly. That's cool. So this is the fourth date, third or fourth, sex? Yeah. <laughs> Not, yet. Not, Not yet. yet, who knows? You take enough edibles. <laughs> and you'll get real self-conscious about yourself. <laughs> Seven, yeah, dude, you ever have sex on an edible? Yeah. It's, Not, it, it's interesting. 175. Not 175, yeah. It's interesting because you kind of like, your entire body becomes your penis. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you, if you do it right. <laughs> You're like all dick, you know what I mean? It all kind of works in one fluid motion. But then every once in a while, some kind of thought or self-doubt can creep in and you're like, well, my dick is now in my own asshole. <laughs> and I've, felt, I've never felt less capable sexually. And I'm pretty sure she doesn't think I'm doing well either. Is that just something only I go through? Okay. <laughs> I really just watched a bunch of dudes just kind of go back to their table conversation. <laughs> and what about this table? How you guys doing, man? Very good. Hell yeah, are you, are you participating? You're, you're on? You, you smoked a little bit. You did the old fashioned way. Yeah, you, you, you charred your lungs for the better good of the show. <laughs> I'm right there with you, dude. And wh where are you coming in from, buddy? From New Jersey, from New Jersey. okay, cool. <laughs> Let's not turn this into a thing. <laughs> Man, that was like an uncomfortable amount of people from New Jersey. That was insane. It started here, it goes, woo, 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 woo. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're surrounded. That's fun stuff. Nice. And uh, it's the whole row? Nice. Okay. <laughs> Dude, you guys just sounded like, you, you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like right in front of a Lexus station wagon. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. What do you guys do for a living? Are you? Um, we work at BetMGM. Uh, gaming company. We gaming. Uh, I didn't hear anything <laughs> what you said. <laughs> it sounded like something impressive, and then I heard him just go south side. <laughs> <laughs> Which that is the funniest way to rep a company. Just imagine like a corporate dude walked into a conference room and he's like, what's up everybody? I'm here with AT&T, so <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I almost just tore my ACL doing that. Dude, my entire body is super tight. So that's cool. What do you guys uh, engineer? Software. Software. Okay. <laughs> A anything like like Tinder? I do work on mobile apps. You do work on mobile apps. Nice. Okay. Cool. I have. Uh, <laughs> I don't have an idea for one. <laughs> but uh, man, I wish I could. Uh, have you ever been airdropped a dick pic on the subway? Because I wish there was an app to make that stop. <laughs> That would be sick. Dude, the last time, I swear to God, I've never, I, I've never seen this picture. I feel like I've seen most of like the asshole and dick pics, like the stock meme stuff that you get sent around the internet, but every once in a while, one will absolutely flabbergast you. <laughs> and uh, I got airdropped a, uh, a picture of a man's asshole, <laughs> but with his balls and dick painted like Squidward from SpongeBob. <laughs> and I was like, that's the most creative thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I wasn't even mad, I was like, man. Because the butt cheeks looked like his big head. The balls were perfect eyes and the... You guys know Squidward, you know? <laughs> oh, what's going on over here? How are you guys doing? All good. Yeah, all good? And what's the, wh wh the what are you all for? <laughs> Who are you to them? <laughs> nice, I like them in the back. They're like, Jersey, as well. <laughs> Jersey. You guys too? No. No. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, don't, don't, uh, don't accuse us of being filth. I didn't say it. She said it with her tone. <laughs> Where are you guys coming in from? I'm from London. Oh, from London. Lovely. That, that's absolutely lovely. And you're here for just for holiday? You, oh, okay, so you live here. You live here, and now you're just showing them what black people look like. It's <laughs> exciting. You're like, come to New York. You won't believe this. It's kind of incredible. We all, we all don't have to look like this. <laughs> That's cool. And what do you think of New York City? Is this your first time? It's your first time. Now, did you smoke pot? Okay. <laughs> okay. You put in my life, sure, yeah. I'm cool, man, I'm cool. I swear, I'm pretty cool. <laughs> I'm just saying, because a first timer walking around like post pandemic New York City on an edible, that could be a tinge overwhelming. <laughs> just walking around like, wow, this is so lovely and quiet. <laughs> Is that man cooking a rat over a barrel fire? <laughs> I've never felt so uncomfortable. <laughs> but it's quite lovely. <laughs> Guys, this is, I, I'll tell you this, I'm excited. I'm excited for this show. We're gonna have a really good time. We have a bunch of fantastic comedians here to come up, do some improvised shit. I actually have a bunch of suggestions in here. Uh, if, if, if in case they run out of some crowd work, we run out of interest in your answers. <laughs> That sort of thing. Should I do one topic just to, just to kind of get it? Yeah? Yeah, why not? All right. All right. I don't like that one. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, this, uh, oh. What animal would you want to get insanely high with if, if ethics or laws weren't an issue? <laughs> yeah. I, I honestly think, like, this sounds weird, but I think an alligator. I think I'd like to get high with an alligator simply to discuss how they've maintained the longevity that they've had. They've lived through so many, all right, this question sucks too. <laughs> I was like, guys, stay with me here. And you're like, we're waiting. <laughs> there might be a point at the end of this, but I doubt it. And you're absolutely right. But that's the kind of, you know, loose ends that we may try to tie up or leave untied <laughs> here this evening. Are you guys ready to start the show? Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. I'm so excited. This first comic, hilarious dude. You may know him as one of the three hosts of Here's the Scenario. And again, we thrive off your energy, so give as much love, energy, and support as humanly possible, because that's the type of show that we got. We got. So you guys ready? You ready to start the show? Yeah. All right. 
Keep it going for Brendan Sagalo, everybody! What's up? I am too high to do this. Oh my God, I thought I was gonna time this edible perfectly. And then the show fucking started late and I was, it was like, oh no. How are you? Good? I'm letting you know, we all have to vibe because I will have a panic attack at you. Okay, I used, I'm used to like 10 milligrams, not like fucking 25. And I took 100. I don't know why I even said 25. Why did I even say that? Oh my God! I'm not used to being this high on stage. So you guys are doing great. The problem is I don't wanna, I don't wanna just go to the bucket, okay? I, feel, I kinda feel like that's cheating. I feel like it'll be weird to like watch me read. You know what I mean? Like I, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it'll get weird, you'll feel bad for me. So I'd rather just like vibe with y'all, you know? I have to do a uh, rap battle after this too. And I'm very, I seriously, I'm very serious. That's funny though. I will still, I'll just start saying that. I have no idea how I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna like forget what, I know exactly what's gonna happen. I'm gonna forget what I say. I'm gonna just start making shit up. It's gonna f be gay for some, it's every time I freestyle, every time I just let it out, it becomes gay. I don't know why. Every time I'm like, I'm chilling and I'm blowing a guy. You, well, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Why does it always go there? Say something different. It, it's just funny. I also, every time I like, do you guys do this thing where when you're uh, singing a song that's in your head, you replace it with like, you know, you replace it with like gay shit. Some of you, you know, you do that. I, I don't know if you agree with me or if you're like, what the fuck? That, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell the sound that you just made. Do you do that or was that a, real, is that a we relate? Or was that a pause? You know, people say pause. Not even going to touch that. All right, let's go to a stupid question. I ran, let's go to a stupid question. I gave up that easy. I gave up that easy. I, I put all my morals aside. Also, here's another thing. Here's another thing. Every single time I'm too high on stage and I'm for some reason looking at my phone or my notebook, my fucking hand shakes. So I know you're gonna see that and go, oh, it's fine. It just happens. I can't hold something while I'm talking to people. So get ready, I can feel it shaking. <laughs> I can feel it shaking in the bucket. <laughs> cling, 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 cling. <laughs> I put my hand in, cling, 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 cling. Oh, you hear that? <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> it's my nemesis. Don't you tell me what to do, sir. <laughs> now, if I, now I can never do it, you see? You see how weak I am? You say, do it, and I go, now I can't ever. Because if I do it, people are gonna go, Brendan fucking did it. Because that guy said so. And then you and me have to fight. <laughs> we just pop, 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 pop. You guys see that documentary, the Woodstock 99 documentary? Dude, how fucking funny was that? Did you see it? Who saw it? The Woodstock 99 documentary where they're at least like, they put all the, ooh, clapping for Woodstock 99. Big Limp Biscuit fans. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Woodstock 99 sounded like, just fucking people punching each other. I think that, that like energy, that Woodstock 99 energy is like, I don't know, this is gonna be hard to say and figure out. And I'm trying to sound cool. I'm like trying to, I'm not trying to, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm trying to think about this right now. I'm not like pausing like Chappelle. Ugh, I'm such a dick. I'm so, I didn't, I got no problem with that guy. To tell you the truth, I'm so high, I went another place. I didn't even know I was here. I was in another area. I was like in my kitchen. 
All right, let's do a fucking question. Okay, I'll do a question. You guys like the questions. Okay, don't shake, don't shake. Don't shake. <laughs> not that, I, now are you laughing because I'm doing it or because I'm not a little bit doing it? Do it. How do you fucking hold something in front of people? How, you can't do this cool. It's like trying to pick up a ping pong ball when you're fucking playing. There's no cool way to pick up a ping pong ball. You always have to... Sometimes though, sometimes when you're playing beer pong and you go fucking like that, how good does that feel? You fucking catch it. <laughs> Waste your, your turn. Just for the cool anime. <laughs> okay. I decree. Is the S or C silent in the word sent? <laughs> Wait, I was gonna actually shit on this, but... Is the S or C silent in the word sent? Dude, what if my nose just started bleeding? I just fucking fell over. I was like, what the fuck? He couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. Have you ever been so high that when you're, it feels like drinking makes it drier for some reason? That's where I'm at right now. Is the S or C silent in the word sent? Sent. It's the C. Yes. Of course. Yes. Preschool teacher over there. Yes. You did it. But let's really think about it. No, I'm just kidding. Let's move on to another question. I, I, uh, am I, oh, what, are you calling me a fucking pussy for moving on? Do you want to talk about this shit? It's the S or the C silent in scent. I know we already probably figured it out. Okay, hit me. Yes. The S and the C together make a specific sound. Yeah. And that sound is S. <laughs> S and C make a very particular sound together, and it just so happens to be the same sound that S makes. So yes, I guess you could say. But I, yeah, okay. That's the best I was gonna get out of that, man. Talking about fucking letters. I used to have a joke. This was really early on. <laughs> early on in my career. But I used to have this joke where I went, Q is like the bully of the, of the alphabet. Because, and U is always like the guy being like, you tell him, Q. Now that's, that was the joke. I know, I agree. I was doing that at open mics in like bars. What building in New York City, I feel like I'm fucking reading it right to you guys. What bit? <laughs> no one will know. Brendan is so cool, who wrote that? What building have you considered jumping off of? <laughs> this building, what's this building? Every building, all right. <laughs> Which celebrity would you fight in a boxing match? Match has to be your weight class. <laughs> Lena Dunham, am I right? <laughs> I think I can break that bitch <laughs> right in the fucking face. Somebody said James Corden, which was, uh, would have also been funny. And right. And right. I mean, we are in New York City. I think a lot of you would be like, fuck that guy. <laughs> but now I know you're not going to agree with me here. So I'm not going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he's learning. Okay. If you could get high with anyone in history, who and why? Like, you know, these are questions for comics. Like, of course we're gonna say, why? <laughs> you didn't have to write why. <laughs> we're not gonna go, Abraham Lincoln. All right, next one. <laughs> Who would you get high with and why? To be honest, I don't really like getting high with people that much. 
This is kind of a nightmare for me. <laughs> I just don't understand what like the difference is, you know? What's the difference of like getting high with like, I guess Snoop Dogg or, you know, <laughs> Adam Brody maybe? <laughs> Remember Adam Brody from One Tree Hill? Why? I don't know. We're, we're just kind of letting it flow. That's what this is. We're letting it flow. So Adam Brody came to my fucking head. I don't know. I'm not funny when there's prompts. I'm funny when I'm panicking. No. You're doing great. <laughs> Affirmations. Affirmations. Do you do affirmations? Who's the foodie? Hello, nice to meet you. I'm the fatty. Nice to meet you. I thought about that. I can't believe I didn't do that joke. I thought about that back there. I was like, oh, walk up, say, hello, foodie. I'm the fatty. It'll go. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. Oh, my God. I forgot how many milligrams available. Everything's kind of going wrong for me right now. And I can't, I don't know what it is. I can't come up with something. Crowd work, I could care less. <laughs> I just kind of like talking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, describe your most recent dumpster fire life event. What does that mean? My, my most recent shit show? Uh, I mean, when I have to get off this stage and go do a rap battle. <laughs> and actually have to be like, and I remember, and I'll suck your dick, you know, like, <laughs> stop, why, why? That's gonna be a nightmare, and it's like, this is fun if I lose because it's funny, yeah, either way, but if I'm panic there, it's gonna be, they're gonna like beat the shit out of me. <laughs> if I even try to be funny, they're gonna go, <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, remember me as I was. All right, last question. Worst mistake, mistake. <laughs> Where in the name? Worst mistake you made because you were high. It all kind of does come back to the rap battle, which is really funny. I'm trying to come up with another answer, but it really is like I'm, I'm having a panic attack. <laughs> I'm going to be on Sway in the morning, and he's going to be like, you really died out there. I'm, it's it's going to make me famous for some reason. I'm going to be so bad, it's going to be famous. I'm going to be like the, the opposite of... All right, well. <laughs> it was really up and down there, so thank you very much. Have a good night. Thank you. One more time for Brendan Sagalo. Oh my God. That was, that was awesome. I had like, I had like 15 in case of emergency questions. And Brendan went through every single one of them in the first set. Crowd work, who cares? <laughs> That was the best, dude. Not only are you about to head into a rap battle, you had your own personal battle up here. <laughs> you were coping with a lot. That was super fun. Are you guys, th that was super fun, right? One more time, Brendan Sagalo, everybody. That was so good. Do we have more show? Are you ready for more show? Oh my God, so excited to bring up this next comic. One of my best friends in the entire world. You know him from the Chrissy Chaos Podcast. Give it up for Chris Stefano, everybody! Thank you. Give it up, you know, for uh, Mike. Uh, I, uh, listen, you know, I, um, I don't do this ever, right? I don't do it, you know, um, Barely ever, you know. Uh, got three kids, and uh, I'm like, fucking should do this more. Um, <laughs> but this is, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be honest, man. Mike, uh, he said he gave me uh, like five milligrams. That's a lie. Uh, Mike dosed me, and um, just record that. And uh, 
<laughs> no, it's, uh, you know what though? It's fine, you guys are in love, you know? <laughs> you are, right? Or, or is it just about sex with, with you two? <laughs> is there a connection? 100%? How long have you guys been dating? First of all, the fact you said 100% when I asked about a connection <laughs> is not good. Uh, <laughs> It makes you sound dumb when I say, do you have a beautiful connection with your lovely girlfriend? You go, honey, that's <laughs> stupid. It's like, just, man, say, you know, just fucking answer, just put on a British accent, go, absolutely, just do something. You just further squeezed her tit more now, and it's looking worse. Be gay like these guys, be gay. And, Nah, dude, you got, you can't, hey, you can't, you know what? I'm sorry. Did I, I don't want to offend anyone. Oh my God. Whoa, okay. What is, worst mistake, worst mistake that made because you were high. Um, uh, I guess um, sexually profiling for Indian men. I shouldn't have done that. That's a hate crime. You'll go to fucking prison for that. And then you, when you're in prison, they'll vaccinate you. Uh. <laughs> Ma'am, sir, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know what it is anymore, okay? Um, you know, you're high. What happens is, 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 you know, you're high and then you can't do any, you know, uh, material, which, uh, so you just talk to people and that's how you get in trouble. <laughs> is you talk, we weren't built, to, I'm not a social person anymore, you know? I'm on, I'm on, you know, the apps, man. What's your favorite app, sir? What app have you designed? Um, I haven't designed any apps. You haven't designed any apps? I know, you're supposed to just say yes because you're Indian. It's just, <laughs> it's just, you know what, dude? How about this? I'm the professional. Let me just, let me just, um, let me just shout out Bollywood and how much I genuinely fucking love it. Cricket. You know what I mean? Are you guys from India, though? No. No, but the heritage, you know what I mean? India, yeah, I know, see, yeah. I know. I know, I know, man. You know what, dude? I got two words. Fuck Pakistan. Right? Get on their side. Your fiance's Pakistani? Oh my God. Yo, a honey. Um, dude. Like you guys, man. But we'll see, dude. You here alone? Co-workers, beautiful. I love it. Louise, my kid. I love it. Beautiful. What's your, what's your, where do you work? Uh, we work in an escape room. In an escape room? Is that what I'm in right now? <laughs> it feels like that's what I'm in. But what is the escape room? Do you have people freak out in there and you just have to let them freak out? Does anyone just get it super quick where like it makes you as the staff feel horrible? Where some guy just gets it in literally 30 seconds and he's like, give me my money back? <laughs> and you just give him his money back? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, why would you give that smart, cutting man his fucking money back? If he's so smart and cunning, he'll get it back himself. <laughs> um, I, um, yeah, man, I, I, I respect it. I respect that, you know? I feel like I have to say that to you because you're under 25. What are you, 25? 21. 21, so I have to say I fucking respect it. I respect you too. Do you really? <laughs> <laughs> you want to be me? No, why else would I be? Oh, why else would you be here? Oh, because you respect, uh, yeah, because well, you got fired from your escape room job because <laughs> it was too easy. Uh, so, um, no, that's true. I like that. I like that about you guys, man. My, uh, yeah. I have, a, I have kids. I have a seven-year-old daughter. Oh, I got a 12-year-old stepson. He's, he's closer to y age than you. <laughs> hey, it's, it's your reverse, man. You're, you're going to be what my, this is what my stepson 
is going to fucking be. And you know what? I like it. I, I no longer dislike my stepson. You, uh, I will now show him attention and <laughs> stop making him stay in the basement when my kids are playing upstairs. No. Dude. My step, let me tell you something. My stepson, uh, first of all, I fucking love my stepson. Who I love even more is my stepson's father. This guy, let me tell you something. This fucking guy, I started dating, you know, like his fucking ex-wife that he was a kid with. And then, you know, so I come into the picture, I, I you know, my girl, friend it's like you know she's you know we we meet whatever he she's like i just want to let you know like my ex is kind of fucking crazy and i was like i don't care nothing stops love um we had the perfect date at the escape room and and, and then my this kid my my stepson's dad meets me and he goes oh you do comedy i was like yeah and i've been doing it for like 10 years and then i swear to god the very next day in this comedy club he showed up and he was like, I'm on next. <laughs> and he then actively did stand-up comedy for a year and was just like, I was like, dude, what are you doing? I was like, I asked my girl, I was like, did he ever like talk about comedy at all? She was like, no, he was legit suicidal. Like he would just <laughs> sit and keep trying to figure out ways how he could sharpen his game boy and fucking slit his own throat with him. And, and but, but, then, but then, you know, he does comedy. It's like, imagine that, like, that's a wild, like, imagine, dude, you're fucking dating a girl, and then her ex-boyfriend just comes and makes an escape room. Just to, like, compete with you, he just fucking makes one. Because he just want, like, it's a weird thing, you know? But guess what? I respect it. And we bond because we both, uh, you know, we're both like, hey, we got, we all got children. We got, we got, we, we have children with the same biological female, and, um, and, we raise our kids. Somebody just said, oh my God, because I said the correct term. Yeah. What are you fucking, that's how bad it is now. Even when you just say the correct thing, but if you don't say it in a certain way, they're just like, that's toxic the way you said the right term. It's like, but, uh, um, do you vote today? You didn't vote? Oh God. Oh good. I don't care. You know, I don't care. Whatever. People voted, didn't vote. I don't. You know, huh? Yes. Did you vote? I did. Oh, good, dude. Good for you. It's two votes, man. It's two votes. We probably voted for opposite candidates, um, but I mean, the best person win. But your person cheated. No. Um, no, I don't care. I'm not into politics at all. I uh. Have, but my family, you know, does it. That's good with the straw. Keep doing that. <laughs> keep, keep gently stroking the straw on the ice. It actually is getting blood flow to my dick. Um, it's, uh, I have a stepson and two girls. I have two, two daughters. Um, great, you know, great. They're great. Puerto Rican. Uh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So Puerto Rican. Uh, their mom's not. Uh, no, no, I'm kidding. No, she's the most Puerto, Puerto Rican. Like she's, she's uh, very Latina. Which I, hey, that's what I fucking. That's what. That's what I like. Attracted. Just. To, I love the Puerto Rican culture. You know what I mean? It's just a good. Listen, it's a good culture. Okay. I and I know. I know a lot about it. You know. I know. Um, I know things, man. <laughs> I was the first boy Bad Bunny kissed. Um, <laughs> and no, it's, uh, it's good. Do you know much about the Puerto Ricans? You don't? You racist. Um, <laughs> no, only, I'm, only I can be. You, the, 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 I'm the only one. You know? So, yeah, Puerto Ricans, good, man. Puerto Ricans, fucking Indians. You guys, you do. You might, you guys might be, uh, the uh, Puerto Rico of Asia. <laughs> it's a compliment. Don't fuck, you just gasp. Like, what's the issue with Puerto Ricans? What, do, what don't you like? What, tell me what don't you like about Acapuria? <laughs> you have a problem with Acapuria? <laughs> or Paella? <laughs> do you have a problem with, do you have a, be a Puerto Rican, I said. Do you even know that Puerto Rican's a Spanish culture? No, you didn't, you just said, yeah, paella Spanish. Yeah, Puerto Ricans, it's, they speak Sp it's Spanish. <laughs> oh, you mean like from a Spain? 
From a thane? Oh, that, like thane. Yeah, they, you know, they have, I don't know. Maybe she's not Puerto Rican. I don't fucking know, dude. Maybe she's she fucking, I don't know, dude. Maybe she's just Italian. I don't, <laughs> you know, I don't know. But uh, yeah, man, overall's farming, dude. Important, it's fucking important. Do you grow crops? You don't grow crops? No. You just want to dress like a three-year-old girl? <laughs> you kind of look like a three-year-old girl, dude. Even with your hair, like, it's freaking me the fuck out. I'm like, this is what my daughter's going to look like when she's a fucking guy. And hey, dude, I fucking respect it. I respect that man's choice, dude, to, you know what I mean? Just dress up like one of my kid's dolls. And it's very weird weird, man. You're very strange. <laughs> but like, you're, uh, we're drawn to you, though. You know what I mean? Like, I'm simultaneously drawn to you and away from you. <laughs> like, I'm, si I'm at the same time, I'm like, get the fuck away, but also talk to me, dude. <laughs> Do you check his uh, basement? <laughs> dude. You gotta check the basement, you know? Some, you know? Some people are having fun, some people aren't, you know. <laughs> Does your mouth get dry on edibles always? <laughs> it does, right? I'm not a, I don't take it, you know? I don't take it. Does it interfere with blood pressure medicine? I'm on blood pressure medicine. <laughs> if it did, I wouldn't care, you know? I'm good? So are, you, uh, are you in the medical field? I'm a nurse. Oh, you're a nurse, okay. Well, all right, but what kind of nurse? Uh, that's good, nursing's fucking great. I, um, I was a physical therapist, so that's like, it's not a nurse, but, we, but we, I worked in the hospital setting and I wore scrubs, you know? What happened in, anything sick happened in nursing today or yesterday? Nothing? Nobody came in with just their fucking head blown off <laughs> by like a t-shirt gun? Yeah. You think somebody stuck their dick in the ballot machine today? <laughs> you think somebody came in with a ballot machine stuck to their dick? <laughs> it's fucking great, dude. <laughs> Nursing. Do you, is that what, or do you want to be a nurse, ma'am? No. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey. The haters are over here. Uh, <laughs> what do you want to be? Um, studying for speech oh, speech pathology. Studying for speech pathology. Fain. Um, that's a great profession. As a physical therapist, we used to work a lot with the speech pathologists. Physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech. All three of us, we'd help, you know, somebody. It d never worked. Um, I never healed one patient, by the way. I swear to God, I was a physical therapist for years and nobody got better once. I swear to God, like, I literally was like, advocating like this doesn't work <laughs> like i got a doctor i swear to god a doctorate degree three and a half years post-grad like this is you know they taught us crazy science not one fucking person ever got better well i was like this is a lie like i wasted money it's a fucking lie and you know and i still believe that <laughs> I, I, I just never worked has anyone went to physical therapy and it worked yeah, right? <laughs> Nobody goes. Uh, you, you, you've been. And it does, yeah. Dude, it doesn't, it do, it's a business. It's a lot. It's a crime. You went and it didn't work? I don't know who's talking. Oh, sorry, sir. I went and it made it worse. It made it worse. What was the pain? Where's the pain? A pain in your arm? You had a pain in your wrist. Uh, <laughs> We know, you're 21 years old, you work in an escape room. We know what happens when people can't escape. We know it's a wrist injury. And your coworkers know too, that's why they have their heads down. Uh, no, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, dude, I do, yeah. Wrestling in high school, man. Let me ask you a question, it's a safe space. Did the teacher, coach ever be like, can I wrestle with you? <laughs> did you ever want to just throw it around? It's not a, w it's, he did, right? It's interesting. <laughs> it's very interesting. All right, man, I'm sorry I didn't read any questions. Uh, we'll see what happens, Mike. Uh, dude, this is, you know, it's wild, man. I like your shirt. 
I feel my lips are very dry, <laughs> which is normal. Can I drive? <laughs> you think so? Yeah. Cares, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't fucking care, dude. I'll give him a fucking Zara gift card or something. <laughs> a fifty dollars Zara gift card. You want it? Yeah, I'll take it. All right, I'll give it to you. <laughs> if you can escape past him. <laughs> All right. All right. Bye bye. See you later. One more time for Chris yeah. Stefano. <laughs> oh man, who who was the nurse? You were? Yeah, he's about to send somebody with their head blown off. <laughs> so I'm good to drive, right? Yeah, it's just make believe. <laughs> How are we doing? We're doing good. Yeah, I um. Uh, I, hosting is different than the last time because the last time I was just up here the whole time and now I have to remember my friends' names. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm up to the task. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What do you do in the escape room? You watch people try to escape. <laughs> That's the whole description of your job? You're like watching surveillance tape? It's like, look at that guy, he's weak. Did you ever take like take part in the scares? Are you also in the escape room? No shit. All of, us. all of you. Okay. And you all just watch tape. <laughs> That's the whole job. You don't even take people's tickets. No shit. That's that's outrageous. Do you ever pretend that you're like a part of a potted plant with your hair? <laughs> that somebody comes by and you're like, Gah! <laughs> <laughs> that would be fucking sick. I, I, I need to know more about it because I feel like the job is more involved than just watching tape. All right. How you doing, buddy? Yeah? You lend anybody in here any money? <laughs> anybody have some good business plans? Do you vet people's business plan? Or you just, you're like, whatever. You have to have an operating business. How do you check on that? <laughs> Bank, statements. Bank statements, okay. Wow, you're an organized criminal. <laughs> That's awesome, man, good for you. I've always wanted to meet somebody that would admit to that. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll blur your face and change your voice to Yeah, yeah I, just, uh, I, I lend people money. I work for... <laughs> oh, man. We have more show. You guys ready for more show? Yeah. I, I, I love this next comic dearly. She's one of my best friends, one of the funniest people on the planet. Give it up for Yamanika Saunders, everybody! Oh, I was watching... Hello, by the way. <laughs> I was, I'm quite high. Um, <laughs> hi. I was, I was watching you guys interact with the other comics. I'm not, I don't, some of this shit, we, I was arguing with Mike. I said, I don't know. I've, I've heard some of this shit before. <laughs> and we're supposed to not go in our fucking arsenal and use the material God told us to write to further our careers. I'm just supposed to do fucking crowd work. Motherfuckers who I don't know, probably some of y'all don't know who the fuck I am. <sighs> I feel like they talked to y'all earlier, right? Y'all got the vibe that motherfuckers just like, bingo, okay? <laughs> Comedy gold in the front. This, you guys look like the entire cast of Harry Potter. For some reason, I don't know which one of you niggas is Harry, but Hermione is over there killing it. Um, that Harry Potter series, right? That was crazy. They, had, they didn't have a lot of black kids in there. All oh, they like white kids and white kids. They, you should have black kids. Black kids, we know how to disappear. 
You gotta learn that trick right out the gate. We get the fuck around. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> I um. Where's this lady going? You, where you going? <laughs> hey, how, how are you? Yeah, well, you you moving like you walking down the Price is Right. <laughs> <laughs> Right, was it? Listen, if you grew up watching Price is Right, that's because your family didn't love you. <laughs> Do you understand? Like, my grandmother would turn that shit on and just leave us there and go to the mall. That definitely was. Price is Right was my shit. That's why I first learned to be fucking ruthless. <laughs> right? You get to be, you learn to be fucking ruthless with a smile. It'd be always be some stupid bitch that's like, what was the bit before? <laughs> Right? And it's like, the bid before was $2,999. She's like, I'll bid $3,000. It's like, what, bitch? <laughs> what? You put no guesswork. Oh, I, like, ooh. That fucking bitch. <laughs> you know what it was? I want to tell you how fucking ruthless they were back in the fucking 80s, bro. That show didn't give a fuck about these women that would be on there so much. They would give them shit that they'll never have in their lives and take it away from them, right? Right? They open the fucking curtain. They got a lifetime supply of tuna. <laughs> right? Because, like, wow, a lifetime supply? Oh, shit. <laughs> you ain't gonna have to worry about a black mermaid if I'm getting a lifetime supply. <laughs> Then they give them some fucking like dishwasher combo, right? And then somehow it's got this new thing called a, a dust basket. It catches the lint, you know? It's like, wow, lint! <laughs> you don't know how much lint was currency back in those days? Because women would get like the lint and then they would, that's back when bitches used to crochet and shit. What happened to real bitches? Right? We always like, where the real men at? Where the real bitches at? Huh? Remember we used to crochet, bitch? We used to bake? We used to chill? Yeah, you want, you want that old school? Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> Let me reminisce, bitch. Yeah, guys, like, yeah, that's where I want that. Yeah, fuck you guys. You fucking guys always asking for a bitch that make you a home cooked meal. I don't know bitches make no home cooked meal. I need a home cooked meal. <laughs> Nigga, you grew up on TV dinners. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Where did you learn this concept of home cooked meal, nigga? You never had one. Huh? Remember? You thought your mother was Chef Boyardee? She wasn't, nigga. You was getting all kinds of high fructose shit, TSG, all this shit was going in your veins, nigga. You're lucky to be alive. <laughs> and you asking for a fucking Donna Summers, whatever, the, what's her name, Reed? Whatever the Dennis the Menace bitch that was next door to the other fat nigga. Them bitches didn't have to do shit. They stay home, they get their little petticoats and shit or whatever the fuck they used to do to make their ribs collapse. <laughs> you know, bitches had to have waist back in them days, they had to collapse your fucking ribs. What happened to those fucking times, ladies, huh? Right? When you got a pelican, right? And a pterodactyl together and one's playing a record. <laughs> and the other one's helping you wash the dishes. What happened? Remember we used to go to the drive-thru and get the rib on the side of the car and it'd be so heavy it knocked the car over? What happened? I want to go back to being the okay bitch. Back when women really didn't do shit. I'm going to go all the way back. Let's go all the way back to Adam and Eve. Right? Eve got blamed. Oh, look at the woman. Uh, greedy bitch. She had had that fucking apple. Yeah, had had apple. You got bitches up with apples. <laughs> I have no idea.
idea why. First of all, my lips are fucking dry. <laughs> I have no idea why the way I said apples was so hilarious just now. <laughs> but that's what it, they act like women is like, oh, you yeah, ain't put them around nothing without the man. And then that she's a treacherous, stupid, nasty, stink hole bitch. She tricking our man, Adam, poor innocent Adam. He didn't know nothing about that conversation with her and the snake. Huh? You tell him, man. I can't believe you returned. You ought to. <laughs> I, I feel like she's still walking out on me somehow. Like I, I don't believe she really came back. I believe she was like, well, I got, you know, I, they ain't leave yet, so. You know you can't let the women have the apple. What was Adam to do? Poor Adam. Oh, he's so... That's why you women got to tell your men. You tell your men every time who you're talking to. You can't don't have no conversation without your man knowing. Because if Adam had known, he'd have told her, don't you talk to that snake? And they would have never ate that apple. She put that pussy on him. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> like, you know, it's, just, it's so fucking crazy because it's like, there's no fucking accountability for Adam at all, right? In that scenario, it's all this stupid ass, dumb ass bitch with this tight, crazy thunder pussy that somehow convinced him to go against God also, and he doesn't take any fucking accountability in that, that he's that of a dirty dick, weak derelict, that he allowed pussy to stop him from following what God said? You're a fucking clown. But you men stand behind that shit. It's fucking insane. You want this apple? Let's eat this apple, nigga. We go down together. You know what the fuck it is. Oh, whoa, whoa. Let's, let's make it nice now, huh? Let's make it, let's take it nice and easy. What the fuck is going on over at Nancy Pelosi's house? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, what kind of Agatha Christie mystery have we, are they slowly trying to fastly kick, kill this bitch in front of us? Do you understand how there's no protection for Nancy Pelosi? What, who's, who, what, you, it, who she got protecting her, the deli store? And even though that nigga know how to put down hands, and they just was like, oh, well, her husband got his ass beat. Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. We understand her husband got his ass beat, and we want to address that, and we want to see the pictures so we can laugh. <laughs> but before we dissect this, can you please explain to me how a motherfucker got in your house, bitch? You ain't got no fucking security, bitch. And it wasn't like, it was some like James Bond <laughs> guy. You know what I mean? Like with a, a briefcase and shit. You know what I mean? It wasn't like it was one of those guys like this, you know, the king and the ransom and all that bullshit with the umbrella. It was none of that. He is absolutely, you are an adorable three-year-old. <laughs> Sir, we gotta talk about this outfit. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely a bookmark. <laughs> it was crazy, I looked at him instantly, I was like, nothing else matters in the world. What the fuck is going on with you? <laughs> silly, silly little Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Pelosi. You need Nancy Drew. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to kill her on January 6th. Do you understand that they beelined to this bitch's office and took over and was calling her like a whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Do you 
Linda tearing up shit and bring her out? She had to go through a tunnel <laughs> underground. Like she was a white Harriet Tubman. <laughs> <laughs> to get the fuck out of where the bitch work? <laughs> A thousand percent insanity. I said, yo, Nancy, they coming for you hard, bro. They can't fuck it. You know, and it's like, you want to help Nancy, right? I want to, but I can't trust old white bitches like that. I can't. Like, history has told me, girl, don't do it. Because Nancy got that smile, that kind of like, you know what I mean? But then, you know, it, it was the same smile Paula Dean had. <laughs> you know what I mean? She had to like, you know how to make a biscuit or two. You know what I mean? Like, like you you got a mean apple pie or marble caramel, some bullshit brownie recipe somewhere. <laughs> Who fucking cares? Every nigga has their day. Not you, not yet. <laughs> but soon. Because I'm, I'm high, you have to see what I see. <laughs> I'm seeing relationship, relationship, maybe, maybe single, desperately alone. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, that's how it's moving in my head in the theater. <laughs> Not today, but soon. <laughs> Do you understand that life will happen? <laughs> Let me, let me close on this. If this is my time, let me close on this. Turn around, who are you looking at? Yeah, yeah, okay, relax. <laughs> Didn't you just say you was clapping about bitches cooking and cleaning and shit? And you get this excited about another nigga? Yeah, Mr. Cannon. What? <laughs> watch this nigga, if you don't know him, watch him, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> I've been feeling you the whole night. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on with y'all. I'm just gonna be honest, cause it, you, you, uh, are y'all from America? Okay, cause y'all dress like niggas that just got here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Keep it. I don't have it, so I'm jealous of you. Always remember it. <sighs> Papa. <laughs> yeah, that's why you single, because you keep eating behind this nigga. <laughs> With every piece of popcorn you eat, he suck a piece of your attraction and put it on the hill. <laughs> you better slow down. And as thin as you are, you look like you've been eating a lot of these fucking popcorns. Don't worry, I'll take care of him, he's a good kid. Get him some black pussy up in Harlem. <laughs> There's very few things in my life that I've done that I thought was beneath me. <laughs> this was beneath me. <laughs> but you guys made it a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much. Good night. Yamanika Saunders, let her hear it, everybody. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> she wore her slippers. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's how fired up she is to be here. <laughs> she cares that much. She wore her slippers. Man, dude, she really, that's why you were so free to give up what you do. You're like, yeah, Interpol isn't coming in New York. <laughs> I didn't know you're from overseas. All right. How you guys doing? Are you having fun? Yeah. I am, uh, I feel like I am being pulled under the earth right now. 
It is, uh, it is an interesting feeling, but I feel like we have two more fantastic comedians left, and uh, we're gonna have a fantastic show. You guys ready? <laughs> One of my favorites, so goddamn funny. You know her from her podcast, Only Fians. Give it up for Karen Fian, everybody! <laughs> Mike Cannon. What a creative genius. Keep it going for Yamanika. I feel like that counts as going to church. Watching Yamanika. No? Whatever. Fuck you guys. Don't stress me out. I'll be like Brendan and have a panic attack. How many times did he say he was gonna have a panic attack? I'm like, why don't you go panic attack some sit-ups, bro? <laughs> He's not even here. He's not even here. Like, I'm just like a mean person. It's not fun, it's not cool. I love how warm and fuzzy weed makes me. <laughs> what am I wearing? Um, I'm sorry, I'm rich. Did you guys vote? <laughs> I've only been rich for like a small amount of time, so I vote different now. <laughs> My pussy has catapulted me into a different tax bracket, you guys. <laughs> Things are different now. There's a lot of hot girls here. Do you guys have OnlyFans? <laughs> you do? Oh, no wonder you guys look so poor. <laughs> So you don't have one? What are you doing with your butthole? <laughs> Mine's building bridges, you guys. <laughs> you can't rain on my parade. I don't even have to be good at this. I ate 50 milligrams before I left my house. I went to a premiere party. <laughs> surrounded, <laughs> surrounded by Dominicans, uh, survived. <laughs> What? I had a great time. I danced a little bit. I was in the Boston Ballet when I was younger. That's why I'm a racist anorexic. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I eat. <laughs> All right. How are you guys doing? You look so innocent. How old are you? Did you just consult with your friend about your own name? <laughs> oh, you guys are high too, right? <laughs> like, are you 24? I'm 24. Are you 24? All right, we'll all be 24. <laughs> You're 24. Can I suck some of your blood? <laughs> she said yes. <laughs> She was like, sure, you look really desperate. <laughs> She's like, you're gonna wear your coat the whole time? <laughs> this is a, uh, you can't repeat an outfit like this. You know what I mean? It's like, what is she, did she get the fucking slutty secretary job or not? <laughs> is she in or is she out? Would you guys hit up the Converse outlet? <laughs> <laughs> you're mean. <laughs> You have a mean girlfriend. Is that your wife or your girlfriend? What's your favorite sexual position? Uh. <laughs> it depends on the mood. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> no. And you guys so comfortable with your feet on the stage? <laughs> I'm gonna skip the front row. You guys look great. Oh, you're the lady that left and came back. I thought Yamanika was going to rip your head off. <laughs> I was praying for you. So we were all at church. Oh no, look out, the cops. <laughs> Yo, 5-0. We're all going to get arrested. Just kidding. Weed's so much less cool now that everybody can do it. My mom's like, my hip hurts. Like, I'm going to get high. I'm like, shut up, nerd. <laughs> Fucking lame. 
You guys obviously smoke weed. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? I feel like you've had enough. You're ready for bed. <laughs> you good? One time I was so high, I looked down. I was on the train. I was like, oh, I'm still holding the garbage from my home. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do a bucket thing. <laughs> I know Yamanika didn't do the bucket thing. She was taken over by the Holy Ghost. So. <laughs> what is the most comfy thing you can imagine? Uh, um, the flaccid dick of a UFC fighter who did too much steroids. <laughs> No, you guys don't know. Like, those guys will be your boyfriend so fast. They're not going anywhere. They don't know where they are half the time. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just have to keep chicken nuggets in your pocket. <laughs> What's something you want to say but haven't been asked? I don't know. There's no right, right way to answer that. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, can I just empty the bucket? Am I the last one? No, there's more. What's going to happen to the royal family? I don't care. <laughs> well, Meghan Markle's going to infiltrate, right? And then there's going to be a new chapter of the Black Panthers in the UK, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's my guess. What's your guess? Look at your big smile. Are you having fun? I'm having a great time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? Queens. Okay. What do you do for a living? You work at a group home. Ugh, lucky. <laughs> Who's your favorite group resident right now? Who's really been crushing it and making curfew? <laughs> they, have, they don't have one, man. But, um, I, I've, I've, I've got one in mind. Yeah, look, we can all make fun of the addicts. As a, well, we won't tell them. What we say <laughs> stays in this room, OK? <laughs> I'm an alcoholic. Is it a group home for people with special needs or for addiction? Oh, that's right. like more hurtful. Let's do it anyway. <laughs> I'm not allowed to tell my jokes. It's your fault. You brought them up. <laughs> How severe? Any mosaic Down syndrome? Because those guys are pretty solid. <laughs> I want to start like this. I'm a, I'm a <laughs> <laughs> Like you are in so many ways. God bless you. Oh, if Yamanika had been here to see that. My mom worked with special needs kids, and she used to call them uh, FNs. It stood for fuck nuts. Um, we didn't hug a lot in my house. Oh, look how uncomfortable you look just when I looked over here. What's the matter? What's your name? Peter. How old are you, Peter? 26. <sighs> <laughs> Have you ever brought a woman to Climax? What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like the honesty. He sat back and he's like, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> no. <laughs> Right. I wish I could tell you, like, the front row could help you out, but I don't know. <laughs> I, I just don't think it's on top of their priority list. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the guys think there's, what, an escape room to the clit? <laughs> the, ba the back door. I get it. You know what I mean. Shut up, you guys. You guys are the worst. <laughs> um, thanks for being 26. Does anybody feel good about their verbal men? Straight men? Anybody? Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So like, I know a lot of you guys are into eye contact and mouth breathing. <laughs> <laughs> but like some of us more advanced love makers, like a little chatty Kathy time in the bedroom. Are you, you're nodding, sir? 
You, well, you just nodded. I saw you. <laughs> you can't freeze your head now and undo. <laughs> you can't undo the nod. <laughs> I'm too high for this. Does anybody? I. Do you guys? I'm very helpful. I bring in like subjects, predicates, adverbs, adjectives. I'm like, I'll help you put a sentence together. <laughs> Just repeat it till we get mama to come. I told this guy, I'm like, can you just call me a good girl? <laughs> <laughs> it's so simple. Like, put your fucking dick in my mouth. Let me rub my own goddamn clit, you goofy monster. <laughs> <laughs> just call me a good girl. He's like, but, <laughs> he's like, don't you want to be a bad girl? <laughs> I'm like, shut up. <laughs> oh, do anything but. I don't think I'm going to get anywhere with this seminar. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the bucket. <clears throat> this question's really long. What's a would you rather? This is just for us then. <laughs> Would you rather have two hour, have two, <laughs> okay. There's just like, a, I feel like some missing articles in this sentence. Have two hour timer on pissing yourself or a five hour timer on shitting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you, you go automatically when the timer runs out. <laughs> I mean, I think we're all peeing, right? And it's like, oh, I'll make a career out of it. I'm like, super squirter. <laughs> I'm a super squirter. It's a new thing. <laughs> it's not always just pee, you guys. You know that, right? Just nodding. <laughs> I don't want to know what goes on behind those doors. <laughs> Don't you dare do another impression right now. <laughs> I'll get the cops. I'll get the cops. <laughs> How long have you been a police officer, sir? No. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me you're an imposter? <laughs> you're not defending our shores at all? <laughs> Have you harassed any African Americans? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like you're doing your job. <laughs> I'm so stoned. And if anybody says anything that I said tonight, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Especially Michael Elizabeth Cannon. <laughs> 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 All right, that concludes my um, time. <laughs> Thank you guys. Keep it going for Mike Cannon. One more time for Karen B and everybody. Oh my God. So funny. I saw a couple dudes just uncomfortably shift in their seat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, was, that was moderately terrifying. <laughs> I felt like Jenny from Forrest Gump with the guitar. <laughs> Take it off, sweetheart! <laughs> yeah! Keep riffing! <laughs> that is funny, right? You know? Does it? I don't know. I, this is fun. This is a good time. I'm having a good time. I don't know if I'm convincing myself or if I am. But I think I'm having a good time. Are you guys having a good time? <laughs> Excellent. Very cool. We have, our, uh, we have our final comedian of the evening. And then I have a cool announcement uh, for you guys uh, at the end of the show. It's, uh, it's not really for you. It's more about me. But uh, <laughs> really excited for that. But we had, a, uh, we had a schedule change. But this guy, I can't think of a possible dude to bring this show home quite like this guy. He embodies this show. He is a good time in a skin suit. <laughs> Keep it going. For Joey Dardano, everybody! <laughs> Two separate kinds of drinks. 
I'm fucking so high. <laughs> so high that I didn't plan for it. Like, it's the whole bit of the show, and then I did it, and I was like, oh, fuck, okay? <laughs> Let's go, 25 milligrams, 25 milligrams. Who here does uh, weed, cocaine, crack cocaine? <laughs> I'm a fucking cop. <laughs> Who is it? I'm joking. <laughs> okay. Good time. I ran outside in just my t-shirt to get these snacks and I'm still fucking freezing and I can't tell if that's actually just me feeling the weed in my veins, okay? I feel it in my veins, dude. I don't smoke. Why did I ask to do this? I'm so, I'm, I did, I asked. <laughs> I asked. I put myself in this position to on top of being really high, this is a sin, dude. <laughs> I grew up in a Catholic household and I'm committing a vital sin, dude. I won't see God after this. And was it worth it? You already know the answer. <laughs> Dude, I feel every muscle in my fucking body right now. <laughs> Holy fuck, I actually, just that move needed the Gatorade. <laughs> I heard four comics say that their fucking mouth was dry and I was like, I'm coming prepared. <laughs> okay, I ran out of here fucking ripping off my shirt. Everyone out there saw the happy trail that I, ha that I don't shave on purpose. Don't do that, Joe. Don't do that thing where you're high and you tell them more about yourself than you are <laughs> planning to truly admit to yourself. You know some things you uh, really quickly respond to, like you're like, I pee in my sleep, and then someone's like, is that true? And you're like, no. <laughs> Would it be weird if it was, though? <laughs> Would it be weird if it was, though? Fuck. If my Cuban mom was here, she would say, why? <laughs> <laughs> Why you do it? Por qué? I'm really getting in touch with my Spanish. My mom just visited recently. She just visited recently, and whenever she's in town, you have to go to church. No matter what, you have to cancel all your plans. And every time she brings it up, I'm like, Mom, I'm, I'm not hyped to go to the house of God no more, okay? I can't do that. And then she's like, why? I can't get hyped for the same songs every single week, week after week. Who goes to church here? Okay. <laughs> Only a man who win would have that confidence. I like that. They're like a fucking power of Christ. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. When I'm there, I can't, but what's your favorite church song? <laughs> Christ will come again. <laughs> Damn, I feel good. That hurt my lat. What the fuck? <laughs> Just that. Do you, uh, okay. Okay. Damn, I'm bi as hell. Okay. <laughs> I went, I, I, I was single for the first time in the pandemic. I, I, I have never been single in my adult life. Serial monogamist, I love to hug, man. <laughs> I love to hug, and <laughs> I can't be alone. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I, uh, I, and you know what, I, I explored it a little bit. I explored it a little bit, it's 2022. Get with it, mom, and God, you know, the world's different. <laughs> I've downloaded every app everyone was talking about, man. I've never been on it, man. Tinder, Hinge, Hindi, Tindy. <laughs> Lick my suck, my fuck my every app out there, man. And I put no restrictions on it. Guy, girl, thousand miles away, I didn't give a fuck. Let's get sucked off, dude. <laughs> Let's get fucking sucked off. Who's with me? <laughs> a lot of head fans in the room tonight! <laughs> okay. Good time. First date I went on, it was with a dude, man. <laughs> so I haven't even admitted that to my family. <laughs> but it's after midnight, I'm not myself. 
First date I went on was with a dude. You know, I, we did. It was a good day. Halfway through, he's like, you want to go back to my place? I'm like, yeah, you know? Slowly <laughs> went. I'm like, if we're doing this, we're doing this. OK? OK, I said yes, and I went. Guy starts going down, and he's sick. Okay. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> and then he looks me up dead in my eyes, and he goes, can I kiss you? And I said, no, that's gay. <laughs> <laughs> That just felt like water as a wave was going through my spine. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Hi, mom, tonight you're not my Okay. <laughs> this shit is in me, it's in my bones. It's in my bones, man. Come on. You guys having a good night? Yeah. That's always good to hear. I'm gonna read this fucking thing. <laughs> Spell the following words. This is bullying. <laughs> <laughs> That's mad, but fuck, who did this? You're a mean person at heart. I can't have, what the fuck is halitosis and haberdashery? Oh, actually, I know what haberdasheries are. That's where they do the zippers. <laughs> are you laughing because you're surprised I got it? Or you're like, what a dumb fucking piece of shit. <laughs> it's a little bit of both. I like that, okay? You're a fair man, dude. You're like, I know what's right, but more importantly, I know what's wrong. And I'm gonna let this kid fucking know. Happiness, H-I-P-P-I-N. -E. Okay, E-S-S, -S, nailed that, didn't have to check. Halitosis, H-I-L-I-T-O-S-I-S. -S. Nailed it. Tell him, <laughs> tell him I got it. I got that haberdashery. Am I cheating if I'm looking at it right before I spell it? <laughs> that felt like a thing I didn't notice about what I was doing, and for 30 seconds you're like, is he gonna realize that we all get this bullshit? <laughs> That's fun as hell. I freaked out when I saw this, man. I was like, I can't fucking read. Oh, my hands do the same thing Brendan said. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I felt that throughout my whole body. I'm proud of him for only feeling it in his hands. Fuck. I feel it in my asshole. <laughs> Eating too much terrible food, terrible combinations while stoned. Oh, man, I'm, yeah, no, I'm getting diarrhea after this for sure with what I'm about to get into. I work in a butcher shop and I come home with so much meat every single day. <laughs> I get so much meat, dude. Yeah. Okay. So much meat, and then I eat. I come home super late every night, and I eat so much processed meat. There's so much salt. I wake up, my fingers are falling off. They're fucking hinges. My rings are sliding off. I get like water weight. Water weight. That's a fun fucking word, dude. Dude, I want to sleep like a fucking baby after this. I feel every muscle relaxing. Is it actually, is it weird how high I am? Be honest. <laughs> no. Because we're at the end of the show and I feel like everyone else peaked. That's it, everyone else kind of peaked, you know? Who came high? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so this is good. Did you guys come in high and it's like wearing off now? Yeah. Why am I so high now? <laughs> I couldn't get into the game. I was so fucking ready to be chill by now. I was actually going to even pretend. I was going to pretend to take the edible I planned on it, okay? Because I was scared. I showed up. It was so, and I was so scared. And then I, and I was in front of, I was, oh, man, I, was in a, I was in front of a bunch of people. What am I going to do? Say you're scared? Pussy, dude. <laughs> I took the whole thing. I he Mike asked, how much do you usually take? I said, two to, 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 to five. Five milligram edible. I buy them in LA. <laughs> Get them good. And I think I took 25. And I'm going to be high until tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> until tomorrow afternoon. I'm peaking now. That's crazy. <laughs> you do to someone on purpose because it's something they said. <laughs> I'm having the time of my fucking life and your smile is a light in this world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll make sure when you smile. <laughs> yeah. Nah, you say that for people who fucking deserve it. <laughs> for the rest of your life, my man's gonna walk
walk around, <laughs> and then someone's going to say, I like your shoes. <laughs> I heard Bad Bunny for 10 seconds in my head. <laughs> Dude, I love Bad Bunny. I wouldn't be able to go see him every single week for the rest of my life. It's like how people like going to church. <laughs> There was, con there was context to that in my head that you guys didn't know. <laughs> I was like, they know me. I know <laughs> I've known you guys for 12 minutes. And I was like, every single person in this room is my fucking best friend. <laughs> I was dying for everyone in here. I don't need that, okay? I don't need it. My, kid, my Cuban mom and my Italian dad came together to make the loudest person you've ever met. Okay? Hydration-wise, I am back 10 days. Mm. This was fun because I, on purpose, put myself in the position to live my worst fucking fear in my entire life. And I think I'm doing pretty good. You're all on camera! <laughs> we filmed the documentary about belief in yourself. <laughs> I feel like this set peaked, but I truly, you guys have become family. <laughs> I literally want to check up on every single, <laughs> every other Sunday until slowly, one by one, each of us, each of us falls off the group chat. <laughs> Until I'm ultimately left up, like, with just you, bro. Like, <laughs> and you and I will just be chilling, bro. That show was crazy. And you're going to be like, yeah. And I'm going to be like, don't, you don't have to say it back, but I fucking love you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be like, till death do us part. And I'll be like, you fucking mean that? And I'll be like, look outside. And I'll have a gun pointed to both of us. <laughs> stage feels like my parents getting divorced again. <laughs> Don't leave. <laughs> nah, man, I, I contractually have to. <laughs> Otherwise, my name will be spread around the city as guy who runs the light, and I won't be allowed to do this anymore. <laughs> and I don't <laughs> I just pretend and I do 55 minutes. Guys, Every single one of you, um, please, you know, follow up with a FaceTime after this. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So Keep it going for Joey Dardano, everybody. <laughs> Forgot his phone. <laughs> You're still recording. Time for Joey Dardano, everybody. You guys have a good time? All right. Very cool. So uh, I, got a, I got a good thing coming up next year, actually, February 25th, 2023. I'm going to be headlining Gramercy Theater, which is super exciting. Yeah. Biggest place I've ever played. It's in, our, in my hometown, New York City. So hope you guys can come out to that. MikeCannonComedy.com for tickets. 